Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Manor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you gave us the Eucharist as the, the memory of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us, and the peace of the kingdom. We will live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace, your grace into, into our hearts, hearts that, that we, through the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate the luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God, God despise not our petitions and our necessities. But, but deliver us from all dangers, wherever glorious and blessed Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His, by his life, death, death, and resurrection, has purchased, purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrust our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, May your church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. 
Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Manor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Thursday in the fourth week of Lent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated to the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my mouth shall declare, declare your, your praise. praise. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden Amen. not your hearts. Come then, let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As it was, was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, May if you, you hear the voice of the Lord, Lord harden, harden not, not your hearts. hearts. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crossed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrote. And to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parchment, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I live up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will make a river of peace flow to Jerusalem. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exult, exult with her. All you who are mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breast. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nursling you shall be carried in her arms, and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your hearts shall rejoice, and your bodies will flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Praise the Lord, for He is good. Sing to our God, for He is loving. To Him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, give thanks. Sing psalms to your, our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass, and with plans to serve man's needs. He provides beasts with their food, and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in hor horses, nor his pleasure in warrior strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshipping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? 
let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please stand. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you might be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me is testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sabi ni Santo Tomas de Aquino, Isa sa dalawa lamang ang pwede nating masabi tungkol sa pag-ibig. Totoo, o peke. 
wala daw saysay na ilarawan ang pag-ibig na sobra o kulang. Matagal o maigsi. Sapagkat pag nilarawan daw natin ang pag-ibig sa ganitong mga salita, ang ibig sabihin, ang pag-ibig, may sukatan. Ngayon, ang pag-ibig may, may sukatan. Masusukatan ba nyo ng pag-ibig sa pamamagitan ng sobra o kulang? Makano pag-ibig ninyo? Sabihin nyo nga sa akin, isang milyon, dalawang milyon, piso, isang bilyon, sabihin nyo kulang o sobra. Ganyan ba tawaran tungkol sa pag-ibig? May tawaran ba ang pag-ibig? Ang pag-ibig be, kinakalakal. O kayo, ano ang pag-ibig ninyo? Panggabi lang, maigsi, pang-anim na buwan, mahaba-haba. Ganyan ba pag-ibig ninyo? Sinusukat nyo, oy, gabi lang tayo iibig. Kinabukasan, bahala na ako nag-iibigan pa tayo. O ano yan? Ano akala nyo sa mga sarili natin? Pahiram. Nagbibigay ng aliw pansamantala. Ibig lang, isa lang ang ibig sabihin niya. Ang pag-ibig hindi kinakalakal, hindi nininigosyo. Sapagkat sa negosyo, yung mahal, may kapalit na mabigat. Kaya nga mahal eh. Mahal, may kapalit. Ha? Kapalit eh. Perang marami kapag ka mahal. Mahabang panahon kapag ka yung kalakal eh, mahusay ang pagkakagawa. Pero meron kang inaasahang makukuhang bintaha. May inaasahang kang kapalit doon sa pagmamahal o sa kalakal na gusto mong gamitin. Kaya kapag ka ang pagmamahal, kalakalan, gamitan. Sapagkat ganyan ang patakaran sa negosyo. Oh. Kaya ang ginagawa natin at ating hinahalina yung mga tao na bilhin yung ating kalakal. Bilhin tayo. Bilhin yung ating kapwa. Mabili natin yung ating minamahal. Kaya puro tayo bayaran sa pag-ibig. Sapagkat yung pag-ibig natin e eh may sukatan. E eh kapag ka ang pag-ibig may sukatan, hindi tunay. Kasi nungalingan yan. Kayo ba pag nililigawan at sinabi sa inyo, mahal kita hanggang bukas lang, Diyos ko, di sinampal mo yung lumiligaw sa inyo. Akala mo sa akin, babaeng pahiram hanggang bukas lang. O, o gagawin mo akong negosyo, kalakal. Hinagsisinungaling. Yung lumiligaw sa iyo. O babayaran kita sa gabing ito. O ayan na, babayaran kita. No, o. Limandaang libo. Oh, paligayahin mo ko. Eh, pasasampalin mo. Ano kala mo sa akin? Babaeng ginagamit. Oh, ano kala mo sa akin? Negosyo. Oh, baka samasampal mo rin. Kasi nungalingan. Kaya nga sabi ni Santo Tomas de Aquino, ang tunay na nagmamahal, hindi nagsisinungaling. Hindi nang dadaya, hindi nang loloko. A cheating heart is never a loving heart.
Eh kaso ang hirap nito, no? Sanay tayo sa pangangalakal. Kaya pati yung pag-ibig natin pinagdududahan. Kaya ano ginagawa natin? Humahanap tayo ng tao na magri sa atin doon sa ating minamahal. Parang kalakalaan, ano? may advertisement. May endorser. Ika nga, yung sabog ginagamit nyo, nalalaman nyo bang talaga puputi kayo doon sa sabog ginagamit nyo, kukuha kayo ng magandang artistang maputi. Ano magsasabi sa inyo, ito ang sabog nagpaputi sa akin. Totoo o hindi? E ewan. Endorser yan, binayaran din yan eh. Hindi mo nalalaman kung nagsisinungaling yan. O totoo sinasabi, sapagkat ganyan ang patakaran sa negosyo. Kaya kayo, kung nagdududa kayo sa lumiligaw nyo, o yung lumiligaw nyo sinasabi dun sa ano nyo, sinusuhulan yung kapatid nyo, sabihin mo naman, sa kapatid mo na mabuti kong tao, natapat ako, na talagang mahal ko siya. Oh, malay mo kung totoo. Oh. Lalangisan mo yung kapatid, lalangisan mo yung mga kaibigan niya para i-recommenda ka. Ay, hindi mo alam eh, sapagkat kapag kapati pag-ibig, ginawang negosyo, maghahanap ka ng endorser. Oh, ganyan. Eh, sabi na ating Panginoon Yeso Kristo sa Ebanghelyong to, kayo, ayo kayong maniwala sa akin. Sabi, sabi niya. Sapagkat yung mga nandoon, mga pariseyo, eskriba, sanay sa ganyang kalakalan, nininigosyo yung pagmamahal, yung pagsisilbi sa bayan, nininigosyo nila. Kaya sila sila mismo ha, ang nag i so, sa mga sinasabi nila. Ito ngayon, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, sinabi, mahal ko kayo at ako'y nagpunta dito sa daigdig para magsilbi sa inyo. Oh, ayaw maniwala ng mga tao, sino endorser mo? Ay, yung mga pariseyo at mga eskriba, ayaw siyang i-endorse. Oh, hindi nila kapartido eh. Sabi ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, wala akong taga-endorse. Bakit? Tingnan niyo yung ginagawa ko. Sabi niya ang ganon. Kung tapat ako, kung ako'y nagsasabi ng totoo, kayo, sinasabi niyo, kaya totoo sinasabi niyo, ayon kay Moses. Ako nagpunta sa daigdig para patutuhanan yung sinasabi ni Moses. Hindi si Moses ang nagpapatutuo sa akin. Ako ang nagpapatutuo kay Moses. Sapagkat hindi ko kailangan ang mga endorso ninyong mga tao. Sapagkat sa inyo ang pag-ibig kalakal. Bayaran! Eh yung pag-ibig ko hindi mababayaran ano? Pag-ibig ng Diyos ito eh. Tingnan nyo lang yung mga ginagawa ko sa gitna ninyo at doon kayo manalik, sabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Nagagawa ba ng tao yan? O yan. Yung pangako kong tinutupad, o nangako ang Diyos, tinupad niya. Cross my heart. Sabi sa atin, cross my heart and he died on the cross. Kayo mga misis, nung nililigawan kayo ng asawa nyo, sinabi ba sa inyo yan? Mahal na mahal kita, sinabi ba sa inyo nung nililigawan kayo? Mahal na mahal kita, handa akong mamatay sa pag-ibig sa iyo. Nang dahil sa pag-ibig, handa akong mamatay dahil sa iyo. Cross my heart, I'll die for you. 
Sinabi sa inyo yan? Siguro kung sinabi sa inyo yan, na totoo, o kinasal kayo, doon, ano, nangako kayo, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in health or in sickness, till death do us part. Ayon! Kaya hanggang ngayon, nandiyan pa yung asawa ninyo, pinangako sa inyo, till death do us part. Cross my heart, I'll die for you. Mamamatay akong ikaw ang asawa ko. Yan ba sinabi sa inyo? Nung pinasal kayo, ayun ang tunay na pag-ibig. Hindi yung negosyo. Kaya, di ba? O ngayon, nililigawan kayo ng mga kandidato ninyo. May nagsabi ba sa inyo na handa silang mamatay para sa atin? O. Oh. Meron na. Meron mga pinangako. Kapag kahihingin mo na yung pinangako, ano ang sasabihin sa atin? Sinabi ko lang yun, naniwala kayo, mga estupido pala kayo eh. Ano to gamitan? Yung ba ang pag-ibig? Ang pag-ibig ah, hindi negosyo. Ang pag-ibig tunay lang o peke, yun lang. Yun ang sabi ng Panginoon, tunay lang o peke. Kaya tayo, pag may nanliligaw sa inyo, mga dalaga, tingnan nyo kung tunay yung nanliligaw sa inyo. Kung hindi lang binibilog ang ulo nyo at pinagsisinungalingan kayo. At kayo mga boboto, tingnan ninyo. Baka kayo ginagawa lang estupido sa lahat ng nakakainis. Pag nakawang ka, eh medyo mababawi mo pa yan. Pero yung ginawa kang tanga, ay nako, Diyos ko. Ewan ko. Yan ang insultong napakalaki sa katauhan ng tao, yung ginawa kang tanga. Dahil pinagsinungalingan ka at naniwala ka naman. O oh, ayan. Kaya nga, anong batayan? Eto, sabi ni San Pablo, sundin ninyo kung sumusunod kay Kristo sapagkat si Kristo ang may tunay na pagmamahal. Dupag dududa pa ba kayo sa pagmamahal na yan? Ano? O tingnan nyo yung nasa krus na matay para sa atin. Kaya yan ang batayan. Kaya sabi ni San Pablo, Sundan niyo ako sapagkat ako'y sumusunod kay Kristo. O yun, sundan niyo ako. Yan ang sabi niya sa kanyang liham. Sundan niyo ako sapagkat ako'y sumusunod kay Kristo. O ako, itong mga sinasabi ko sa inyo, dapat niyo bang sundin? Kung itong mga sinasabi ko, walang batayan sa sinasabi ni Kristo, forget it. Kalimutan ninyo, nagsisinungaling ako sa inyo. Binobola lang tayo ng paring yan. Sapagkat wala akong sinusundan. Pero kapag itong mga sinasabi ko sa inyo ngayon, nakikita nyo, eh nakabatay kay Kristo, sundin ninyo. Sapagkat kung hindi ito nakabatay kay Kristo, ako nawawala. At pag sinunod niyo ako, mawawala din ako. Kayo, sapagkat sinusundan niyo ako. Suriin ninyo, hindi ko sinasabi sa inyo na sundin niyo ako ha. Sundin ninyo, kung ang sinasabi ko ay hindi tama. Huwag niyo sundin. Kung tama, sundin ninyo. Paano? Tingnan niyo kung sumusunod kay Kristo. Sapagkat bandang huli, yun ang itatanong sa atin. Sino sinundan mo sa buhay mo? Ako tatanungin, sino sinundan mo, Father? Eh si Kristo. Eh di halika rito. 
Pumasok ka sa langit sapagkat dito matatagpuan si Kristo. Eh kayo, sino sinundan niyo? Ewan ko sa inyo kung sino sinusunod niyo ngayon. Baka magbibigay kayo ng pangalan. Hindi kay Kristo. Ano sabihin sa inyo? Magsama-sama kayo. Ang pag-ibig, hindi negosyo. Hindi lang sa Biblia nakalagay yan, maski sa pambansang awit. Nang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo. Meron ba sa inyong ganyang kamahalang bayan? O, magsitayo tayo para manalangin. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians everywhere may be more fervent in prayer during this Lenten season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That unbelievers may listen to God's word and may, brought, and may be brought to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That present uncertainties, uncertainties in the church may be resolved by an increase of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor, the sick, and the handicapped may see God's presence in their lives by the support of their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the dead may reach their eternal home with the help of our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of our country, and for our brothers in ministry at San Lorenzo Luis and Most Holy Rosary, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions. Almighty we, Father, grant us the grace to be true to our promises, true to our love, as Jesus Christ has been true to his love for us. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, of the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord bless the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be brought, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic and Saint Francis and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as in heaven. in heaven. Give us this Stay day our daily, daily bread, and forgive and us our trespasses, as we forgive those, those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. 
Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, wrath, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be your ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. And that the common good may always be your highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. And that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. And that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those to seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to slow others. May your political engagement for vowed to voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. John bore testimony to the truth, and although I have not need of human testimony, says the Lord, I remind you of this for your own salvation. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he will save us from our enemies, free the, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our Father and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he showed to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in the darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. John bore testimony to the truth, and although I have no need of human testimony, says the Lord, I remind you of this for your own salvation. Let us pray. May the sacraments we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kami po ito sa pusong nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nakidalo at nakiisa sa ating pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy nyo po ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa kayong pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join as we pray for the blessing of the sick, then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness, restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.